This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by the Janitorial Store's DVD, How to Walk Through and Measure a Building for a Cleaning Proposal. In this DVD, you'll learn how to prepare for the walkthrough, how to interact with the prospect, what questions to ask, how to measure a building, and more. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. Marketing our cleaning business was never something that came easy to me because I've been an introvert my whole life. In fact, if you told me a few years ago that I'd be on video talking to thousands of people here on this show, I'd say you were nuts. But becoming an entrepreneur has taught me a lot about marketing over the years, and I've discovered that changing the way I think about marketing made a huge difference for me. You see, I used to think that marketing was all about getting out there and selling my business. But Steve is the one that loves sales, not me. So what's an introvert to do? I put together a few tips that have worked for me over the years, and I think they'll help you too. Now as introverts, we like to stay in our safe little box. But you really do have to make an effort to get out of that box by getting out in your community. And yes, I'm talking about networking events. But I'm also talking about volunteering, joining the local Rotary Club, participating in your kids' school events, anything that gets you out into your local community. And when you do this, your objective is not to hand everyone a business card and give them a sales pitch. It's actually just the opposite. Your objective is to learn all about the people you meet so you can get to know them and start making new friendships. I think one of the best pieces of advice I ever got was to think of prospects as friends you haven't met yet. You see, I used to think that whenever I went to a networking event, everyone was a prospect and I had to sell them on what I do. I finally realized that networking was a lot more fun when I took that pressure off myself and just started making friends. It's also important to remember that not everyone at networking events is your prospect. But the people that you get to know probably have connections that are your prospects. So focus on getting to know people rather than turning them off by trying to sell to them. Once they get to know you, it's you they will think of when they get the opportunity to refer a cleaning company. My second piece of advice is to share your knowledge. And there are many different ways to do this. One way is to take advantage of those short 5-10 to 10 minute presentations at your networking events. It gives you the opportunity to raise awareness of some aspect of your business that most people don't know. For example, color coding microfiber cloths to avoid cross-contamination. Now to us, that's old news. But I'll bet if you talk about color coded microfiber cloths, every person attending your presentation is going to go back to work to see if their cleaning company uses color coded cloths. Now I know getting up in front of people to speak doesn't feel like something an introvert would do or should do. But believe me when I say your networking friends want you to be successful and if you do a short 5 or 10 minute presentation on a topic you know well, it's much easier than you think. And here's a bonus, it's going to help your self confidence because you'll feel good about your accomplishment. Another tip is to offer the same kind of information through your social networking sites. Post short tips or write blog posts and then link the articles on your social networking sites. And then mix up those posts with other types of posts like promoting a local networking event or charity golf outing and also posting photos of you participating in those events with your new friends. Your local online connections will soon realize that you are the go-to person when it comes to both cleaning and networking. And my final tip is that when you have the opportunity to get out in front of an ideal prospect, remember to keep the focus on them, asking questions about what is important to them. The last thing you want to do when you get the opportunity meet, to meet with a prospect is to walk in and start spouting off all the great things your company does. So start out by asking several probing questions because it will help you uncover what is important to them. And once you uncover that information, you can then share how your company can solve their problems. Because remember, you are in the problem solving business, so you can become the hero if you can get to this point in the relationship. Keep in mind that even though you may be an introvert, marketing your cleaning business doesn't have to be painful. 
There are people who desperately need what you have to offer, so it's up to you to get out there and find them by building connections and sharing your knowledge. So for you introverts out there, how do you handle marketing your cleaning service? I'd like to hear from you, so please post your posts or post your comments below the video at cleaningbiz.tv. That's it for today's show. If you're struggling with what to do during a prospect meeting, be sure to check out the DVD, How to Walk Through and Measure a Building for a Cleaning Proposal. I'm Jean Hansen, and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.